Good morning, Britain. The news you're waking up to. Tower block fire safety checks are in complete chaos. That's according to Labour, with thousands of residents left in limbo four weeks on from the Grenfell Tower tragedy. Overnight, Donald Trump's son defends himself from accusations of treason after he met a Russian lawyer allegedly offering dirt on Hillary Clinton. The SATS shambles. Furious teachers take to social media to share examples of answers they say have been unfairly failed thanks to overly strict government standards. You can't beat him, join him. That's what Dad Chris Martin did when his selfie-obsessed daughter Cassie refused to tone down her Instagram pictures. Chris and Cassie, join us before 7. Wednesday, 12th of July, 2017. Live from ITV Studios in London. This is Good Morning Britain with Piers Morgan and Susanna Reid. Good morning, Britain. So, we had a little thing, didn't we, yesterday? Bill Turnbull, your previous TV husband, seems, came on. Seems to have left me. You uh, yeah, yeah. Did a little love heart. her, and you declared your, your preference for Bill when I asked you directly, which is fine. Totally your prerogative. <laughs> um, so, the Sun newspaper decided to have a little bit of fun with this, combining my two pet... Hates. Things, <laughs> Bill Turnbull on Love Island. Let's look at this. Do you um, prefer Bill Turnbull to me? Yeah, I do actually. <laughs> I'm a very, very, very young, just turned 52. Huh? I don't focus on people's age. Oh, does Turnbull just looks everything. He's, he's worked with you for so long. He's, he's timeless. Genius. I, I gotta say, how love they that. got my body so accurate <laughs> is absolutely extraordinary. Well, I think it's funny is that your head is very large. Yeah, they're giving head. you a giant head. They're giving me bigger guns than, uh, than Turnbull, so I'm quite happy. Mine are quite, I'm quite ripped. <laughs> he looks a bit weedy, so yeah. Also, Susanna's body language doesn't lie. All over me like a cheap rash. <laughs> It's Bill's little, it's his, his shoulder move is the real thing, isn't it? It's that kind of, yeah. uh, anyway, we'll be, he knows we'll be playing he just that. has to bide his time. What's been happening in Love Island? Can we just have a quick check? The Daily Star are always very good for Love Island updates. Um, <laughs> Love Island evacuated. Blaze hell that won't be shown on your TV. That's a shame. Oh. Uh, wouldn't mind seeing oh, that. Look, we'll go up. Is that Gabby's mum urging... Yeah, her somebody, called, marry somebody Marcel. called Gabby. Uh, her mother has backed the Love Island babe to marry Marcel, who presumably oh. she's just met. Yeah, in he the, is marriage material in though, the Marcel. House He's of Dim Wits. And axed Johnny Mitchell insists he doesn't care if viewers hate him and declare the world needs villains. Yeah, they do, Johnny. They just need villains we've heard of or care about. Uh, you don't qualify on either category. Too many viewers can't be wrong. Um, anyway. Love Island. You see, I've got you hooked. No, I don't, I don't watch it. I know you you're not watching talking it. about it, though. I'm obsessed with, I'm obsessed obsessed with my obsessed hatred for it. You're obsessed with the gossip yeah. about Love Island. I think it reflects everything that's bad with life, society and the world. Other than that, I really enjoy it. <laughs> Let's go to Laura with the uh, weather. Good morning from the queues at Wimbledon, where it would be nice to have some of that Love Island weather and beautiful warmth and sunshine because it was a soggy night for the 1,500 people that camped last night. But I'm the bearer of good news. In the next couple of hours, the rain here will clear and it's set to be a brilliant day of play ahead here at Wimbledon. And across the board, top temperatures of 24 degrees. Actually, the best looking day of the week so far once this rain has cleared and all these people have dried up. <coughs> Thanks, Laura. Uh, back with uh, Laura at Wimbledon and Sean as well, a little bit later on in the programme. Now, four minutes past six, our main news. Labour claims that the system of safety checks on tower blocks is in chaos. Four weeks after the Grenfell fire, which killed at least 80 people. Now, MPs are going to debate the public inquiry.